Today's topic, how to lose weight fast. Today I want to share 10 practical tips with you that are based on scientific research, how you can lose weight fast and how you can finally attain your dream weight. And it starts with one popular misconception. And I want you to think about and question this popular belief. And the belief is that you just have to skip breakfast and then you will lose weight. But this popular belief is a big misconception and it can be actually very dangerous for your weight loss journey. Don't make the mistake and think that skipping breakfast is the answer to your weight loss. Instead, eat breakfast and eat a high-protein breakfast instead of a breakfast that's high in carbohydrates. Because eating a high-protein breakfast can help you to prevent late morning cravings. And a modest breakfast and small meals throughout the day can help you to reinforce portion control. But what often happens when you eat no breakfast at all, then you are hungry and then you will snack and you will eat all the things that are not good for you and not good for your weight loss. And eating a healthy breakfast with lean protein and nutrient-dense food will help you to feel full and then as a result throughout the day, you won't snack that much and you won't eat big meals. So I'm a big fan of breakfast and I'm a big fan of eating a healthy, protein-rich breakfast. And this can actually be beneficial to your weight loss, even though a lot of people falsely believe that skipping breakfast is the answer to losing weight. And then whenever you have a meal, no matter if it's breakfast, lunch or dinner, drink a glass of water before your meal. I would say 250 milliliters to 300 milliliters is enough in order to give your body the feeling of fullness. And if you feel full because of the water that you just drank, then you won't eat that much. And water also helps you with digestion and with nutrient absorption. So there are two benefits when it comes to that. And you can make the test, for example, before one meal you drink a glass of water and then before the next meal you don't drink a glass of water. And I'm very confident that you will feel full faster when you drink a glass of water in comparison to when you don't drink a glass of water before your meal. And then as a result, you will eat less and it will be easier for you to lose weight. And then when you're serious about losing weight fast, follow the out of sight, out of mind principle. Studies showed that people who place unhealthy food in their kitchen or for example in their living room at a place where they can easily see it, they struggle more with weight loss and they are actually more likely to gain weight than people who store unhealthy food far, far away, out of sight, out of mind, and instead have a banana or an apple on their kitchen counter or somewhere in the living room where they can easily access the food. In other words, the easier it is for you to access food that's not good for you, the more likely it is that you will consume this food. And that's why you have to follow the out of sight, out of mind principle. There's been a lot of scientific evidence that it works. And I know it sounds very simple, maybe even too simplistic, but if you're always in a position where you can easily grab the most unhealthy food, then you will choose this food. That's also why, for example, in supermarkets, there's so much competition when it comes to product placement, when the product is placed directly in front of your eyes. Because big food corporations know exactly that people are more likely to grab the food that they see without moving up and down. And the same is true for you and your weight loss journey. If you have food in your house that you see, then you are more likely to eat it than when you, for example, store the food somewhere else. That's why you should keep the healthy food where you can always see it. And the unhealthy food, I mean, the best thing you can do is to not buy it at all. But if you already bought it, then put it somewhere where you can't see it. Just don't forget it over a couple of years and then at some point you think, hmm, what's that smell? That's of course also not something that you want to do. But just make sure that you follow the out of sight, out of mind principle because it really works. And then lose weight fast by taking advantage of miracle molecules. Probiotics can affect your body weight. That's what a lot of scientific studies have proven. For example, probiotics may help release the appetite-reducing hormones glucagon like peptide 1 and peptide YY. So probiotics can help you to release appetite regulating hormones. And when you have an increased level of these hormones, they may help you to burn calories and fat. And it can also lead to an increased level of fat regulating proteins. Probiotics may increase levels of the protein angiopoietin like 4. And this protein may lead to decreased fat storage in your body. 
But for probiotics to be effective, they need to be alive and active, which means they need to have a natural shell that prevents the stomach acid in your digestive system from destroying them. And one of these miracle molecules is Bacillus subtilis, and Bacillus subtilis is unique because of its spore-based natural shell, which means that it's protected from your stomach acid, and it can then actually do the work it's supposed to do. And if you want to find out more about this miracle molecule and the other miracle molecules that are contained in the only weight loss supplement that I recommend to you, then you can watch the video and go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash video, or you can also click on the first link in the description. And if you want to read more about the science behind this supplement, and you're not a big fan of watching a video, but you prefer reading about the science behind the supplement, then you can click on the second link in the description or go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash letter. And stick to a diet that is high in fiber. It has been scientifically proven that foods that contain a lot of fiber can help you to feel full faster. And food that contains a lot of fiber is also usually very low in calories, which is another benefit. So it's always good to eat fiber when you want to lose weight and also when you want to, for example, improve your digestive system. And fiber is contained in most vegetables and fruits, in whole grain bread, in brown rice, and also, for example, in beans. And track your physical activity to see the progress that you're making and to motivate yourself. One study discovered that consistent tracking of physical activity can help with weight loss. And another study that I discovered actually found a positive correlation between weight loss and the frequency of monitoring exercise and your physical activity. I think it's because it motivates you. When you track your physical activity, then you feel good about yourself because you're doing something. You're actively working on your weight loss and this makes you feel good. And when we feel good because we do something, then we are more motivated to do it. I mean, that's how we are designed as human beings. When we derive pleasure, when we derive emotions such as accomplishment and feeling proud of ourselves from something that we're doing, then we are more likely to do it even more. And then you will also see faster results. And take your time with every meal and enjoy it. Don't stress about eating. That's the worst mistake you can make. I mean, for example, Dr. Joe Dispenza says that so many people who eat healthy meals, who eat organic food, and they then stress about it, they just create organic stress. And I think that's a great metaphor. Because if you stress about it, then you feel bad about yourself. And the worse you feel about yourself, the more likely it is that you try to medicate yourself with snacks, with all these unhealthy foods that are not advisable to eat. But when you enjoy your meal and at the same time you take your time with every meal, then you create a win-win situation for your weight loss. Because when you take time to chew, this gives your brain enough time to recognize the signals that your belly is full, which can then help you to prevent overeating and it can allow you to lose weight fast. And what can also allow you to lose weight fast is to say no to refined carbohydrates and yes to natural sources of carbohydrates. What are refined carbohydrates? Refined carbohydrates are carbohydrates that have been heavily processed to remove many of the other nutrients they normally carry. For example, white flour, added sugars and sweeteners, pasta, pizza, all these foods are full of refined carbs. So instead of eating these foods, why don't you gain your carbohydrates from natural sources, such as potatoes, sweet potatoes and quinoa? And these natural sources are also low in calories. Yes, quinoa is higher in calories than sweet potatoes and potatoes, but when you compare it to white bread or to pasta, then quinoa is still way better for your weight loss. But I would say sweet potatoes and potatoes are always a great choice. They are high in fiber, they are low in calories, and they make you feel full fast. And combine eating lean protein with resistance training. You can get lean protein from so many sources. For example, plain yogurt, a lot of fish contains lean protein, skinless meat, low-fat cottage cheese, and you can even every now and then enjoy lean beef. And both eating lean protein and saying yes to resistance training can lead to you building lean muscle mass, and lean muscle mass can help you to lose weight fast. So remember, lean protein leads to lean muscle mass, and this can help you to lose fat. And speaking of fat, don't be afraid to eat fats. Healthy fats. 
cut back on processed food, junk food, because they contain a lot of trans fats, which are not good for you and for your weight loss journey, but your body still requires healthy fats, no matter what eating plan you choose. And if you, for example, cook with olive oil and avocado oil, or you every now and then eat an avocado, then your body receives the healthy fats that it needs, but you don't sabotage your weight loss with trans fats. And if you then combine an avocado a day or half an avocado a day with the supplement I mentioned earlier, which is the only weight loss supplement that I recommend to you, then you can have it so easy to lose weight fast. And if you want to find out more about this supplement and the miracle molecules that are contained in this supplement, then you can click on the first link in the description to watch the video or go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash video. Or you can also click on the second link in the description if you prefer reading about the science behind the supplement or go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash letter.